What's up everyone? Welcome to my channel. So today I am going to tier rank all of Colleen Hoover's books because I've officially read all of her books. I might not have read the sequels to all of them, but I think I should definitely get credit for reading all of her books. So I am screen recording um, my little tier ranking system. Um, I ended up putting all of her books in here as images. And my tier ranking is as goes. We have on the bottom, never again, as in I did not like it and I would not read it or recommend it or do anything with it. I also have, um, was I bored though? Because a lot of times I say, like I love Colleen Hoover's writing, so I might not necessarily enjoy the story as much, but like her writing just makes the books fly by so fast. I mean, they're over by the time you blink. Then I have Need to Reread because there are actually a few on here that I don't remember anything about and I probably should reread them um, so that way I can actually rate them appropriately. Then I have a not sure where to put these um, because they might not have been my favorite, but they also weren't, you know, like my least favorite. So they're just kind of like, you know, great, good, whatever. And then I have Best of the Best, which is my all-time favorite Colleen Hoover books. So those are the ones that I would definitely be recommending the most from this video. Um, but we'll go through them all as we go through them. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first one we have is Hopeless by Colleen Hoover. This is definitely one of her older works. Um, I'm not going in the order of when her books came out. I'm just going in the order that they were uploaded here in the tier ranking system. And for this one, um, I believe I gave it four stars on Goodreads, but that was definitely a few years ago. And my review was very vague. I said about it was an emotional roller coaster, the last one quarter of the book, but I honestly can't even tell you like what it's about or what it is about. So unfortunately, I'm gonna have to put this book into not sure where to put this because I know that the end of the book was like very thrilling and roller coaster ride ish, but I definitely would not want to reread this again um, because I think I remember the first half being kind of boring. So I'm just going to put it here because it was a four star when I read it and it would probably interest people that like Colleen Hoover. Next up, we have Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover. This one, I'm gonna put up here in best of the best because I absolutely loved it when I read it. I remember like being shocked at the ending of Ugly Love. It was kind of like a mystery where you were trying to find out what was happening and um, the ending was very emotional to me. I really, really loved it. I know some people didn't love it as much. Um, in my opinion, it's one of my favorite Colleen Hoover books. Okay, next up, we have Never Never. And this one I'm gonna put in the Was I Bored Though? Because this is actually um, Colleen Hoover writing with Taryn Fisher. I read this just this past summer and it is like three books, but they're all very small. So I actually read all three books. This one kind of is a little bit different than some of the other books. It is romance, but it also has this like time travel alternate reality is it a dream type of storyline and i usually do like those but i just felt like this one did not work for me i ended up rating it three stars and i think that actually it was taryn fisher um her part of the story that i just didn't love it ended up ending without really giving any type of conclusion or answers to anything and i flew through the book because it was very entertaining um, but then there were just those other problematic parts of it. So that's why like it's in the was I bored though? Cause like I wasn't bored, but it just didn't work for me. Okay, next up we have maybe someday. Um, this one I'm going to put in best of the best because I definitely love this one and rated it five stars. This one, um, I really like the deaf representation in this one because one of the characters is deaf and he uh, writes a lot of songs for his brother's band. Um, so there's a lot of music in this one and there's actually, I believe, a playlist that you can listen to um, like that actually goes along with the book. 
uh, but I love this one because it's so emotional. I really, really like the characters in this one and the storyline in it. Okay, next up is November 9 by Colleen Hoover. This is one of my all time favorites. This is one of the ones that I always recommend to everyone. Um, I remember reading this one a lot, like compared to the other two that I have on the best of the best, like this one, I remember just how much fun it was to read. This one, the storyline in this one is very original and intriguing um, because the couple meets up at the same time on November 9th every single year. Um, but one of the parts was very heartbreaking to me. I felt like my own heart was breaking. Um, you might know if, you, if you've read it, but I just love the emotions that this one had and really brought out in me. So that's one of the reasons why it's one of my favorites. Okay, it ends with us. I'm actually going to put this in the need to reread. Uh, this is actually the first book that I ever read by Colleen Hoover. And so I actually read it. Um, it's probably been about five years ago now. It was right, I think, when it first came out and I was first getting back into reading. And this is usually everyone's favorite. Um, but I honestly don't remember much about it. I think I remember like a rooftop scene and that's about it and maybe a flower shop was in it so that one i actually would like to reread um i just saw that um colleen hoover will be releasing the second part of this book called it starts with us or maybe it's a prequel or something um but i'm really excited for that so i'll probably reread it ends with us right before i read it starts with us all right, Too Late by Colleen Hoover. Um, I'm putting that in best to the best. It's absolutely amazing. It's definitely underhyped in my opinion. I feel like hardly anybody that I know has read Too Late and a lot of them are familiar with Verity, which is her like romance thriller. But in my opinion, Too Late is her romance thriller and it was done so well. It's actually very, very dark feel like it's more dark and has more triggers than some of her other books. But I remember my heart was pumping. It was extremely thrilling and I absolutely love it. Okay, Slammed. I'm actually going to put this on Never Again. I just read this actually uh, like last week, maybe a week or two ago. And this is actually her first book written. So it's a young adult book. You can definitely tell that this is like the first book of her career. This is about a um, 18 year old and she goes on a date um, with this guy who turns out to be like her poetry slam teacher. So obviously like they're not allowed to date. Um, but I just felt like too many different things and tropes were packed into this book and just too much was happening with it. And especially with it being young adult, it felt very immature. The characters felt immature to me so I just didn't like it. Next up is Without Merit. This was actually the second Colleen Hoover book that I ever read. I read it right after It Ends With Us because I believe it came out right after It Ends With Us. And I'm also gonna put this in the Never Again um, category because this one wasn't even really romance. I think it was more like women's fiction or something like that. From what I remember, it was just more like family dynamic and not romance themed. Okay, next up we have Confess by Colleen Hoover. Um, this one, I believe I also um, had this in best of the best because I really, really loved it when I first read it. But unfortunately, I don't remember anything about it and I don't have any review. So I'm going to put it in the not sure where to put these because I don't think I would want to reread it. Um, I don't think I would love it as much if I read it the second time because I feel like the romance that I like now is a little bit different than from what I liked five years ago. I also have seen a lot of people talking about how they didn't really love it that much because it was a little problematic so we're gonna put that in the I don't know what to do with this one. <laughs> Okay, next up, All Your Perfects by Colleen Hoover. Um, this one I think is my all-time favorite Colleen Hoover book. I absolutely loved it. I read it in one sitting and cried my eyes out like while I was reading it because it is about infertility. It's also one of the best books that has been written that I have read that's about infertility. I feel like it's very realistic. It shows the ins and outs, especially regarding relationships. And I love that it doesn't have the traditional 
ending um, where, you know, obviously they just get whatever they want at the end. So highly recommend this book. Um, some people have said that the main character is like kind of spoiled, but I think that those are people that just can't relate to what it's like. Um, and so I feel like that's a them problem. All right, Regretting You by Colleen Hoover. I'm also putting this up in the best of the best. It's actually a four and a half star and not a five star. And that's because I really wanted to read those letters at the end. And um, I guess we're never gonna find out about those letters, but I actually did really like Regretting You. This was also a little bit more family dynamic, but I really liked the kind of like triangle romance um, that was going on, the cheating aspects. I do like stuff like that just to read about it because it makes it like drama filled. And so I actually did really enjoy this one. Heartbones by Colleen Hoover. This is a no for me, never again. It's uh, one of her young adult books and I thought it was absolutely stupid and ridiculous and very immature, especially the whole finding bones on the beach and not reporting them to the police, like that was weird. Okay, next up is Layla by Colleen Hoover. So I'm gonna put this in the was I bored though section because I actually did enjoy reading this one, but it also is way different than her other works. It is very confusing and it's like a paranormal romance. So you have to have that imagination going for you. I believe I was hovering between like a three and a half to a four star when I read it. And I still to this day, like think about it, which is very important to me in books because I don't like not remembering what a book is about. There were just other things that I just, I don't know, I just didn't love it. So, you know, let's give a star for creativity, I guess. Okay, next up, Reminders of Him. Again, I'm gonna put this in the was I bored though section because I also am having a hard time figuring out if I'm reading this three, three and a half, four stars. I really don't think it deserves a four star. Um, but a lot of other people are loving it and so I'm wondering if it's me not being able to relate because I don't have any kids yet It was definitely like it had some emotional parts But there just wasn't that like umph that I needed in order to absolutely love it I do think it is a little bit more of her most mature work so far It definitely has more like women's fiction vibes and I could see it being written more for like late 20s, early 30s. Um, kind of how I feel about All Your Perfects as well. That one definitely feels a little bit older for older people. Um, but again, I just didn't love it. It didn't work exactly for me. All right, last up. This one is probably the most controversial one, um, but Verity by Colleen Hoover. When I first read this book, I was not impressed. I think I gave it a three star, maybe a four star because of Colleen's writing style I really love, but I couldn't understand why everyone was raving about it. It didn't seem very thrilling to me. Um, I just didn't love it. But at the same time, that was a few years ago and people are still raving about it. And I don't really remember anything about it. So I'm gonna put that in the need to reread section. So that way I can reread it now with how I like stuff now and you know, figure out like where it actually goes for me because it ends with us and Verity are like the two that I just am not sure. Like it ends with us, I rated five stars. I remember nothing about it. Would I still rate it five stars? And then Verity, I rated it like three stars, but maybe I would like it more. Maybe I read it in the wrong mindset. You know what I mean? I was expecting something more. Those are all of the Colleen Hoover books that I've read, all of her books that I've read. Um, and those are my ratings for them. So not just necessarily one to five star ratings, um, but just in my head where they are all sitting currently. So I hope you all enjoyed them. Let me know down below what your best of the best was or the ones that you just didn't care about. Um, let me know if you think I should also reread and It Ends With Us and Verity. And I'll see you very soon in another video. for you now You got two minutes of my time And I don't really break too easily But I'm worth it Cause I'll slip into your dreams tonight Oh, So give me, so give me your all I'll take it, I'll take it
get to me.